So, so yeah, we've got this virtual reality um, unit, which, which is very realistic. You know, I've been in the trade for a long time now, 30 years plus, and it's, it's extremely realistic. So, you know, I would say it's, it's about 95% realistic. So we can use it to train apprentices, uh, and typically apprentices, when you get them painting, they'll sometimes make a mistake. And when they make a mistake, they say, oh, oh I've got to run. Well, okay, we can train them up on the virtual reality first, and we can look at their technique, like gun distance to the panel, speed of application, uh, where to trigger off, where to trigger on, and we can map that out all for them on the virtual reality. Then we can very quickly get them into a spray booth and actually get them painting. And I proved it two days ago. So it's, it's an amazing. I just had a gentleman on there uh, who's looking to get into the trade, 10 minutes on this machine, and he's already painting a part. Like, it's just incredible. It blows my mind anyway. <laughs> yeah. So we had, uh, we had a gentleman here before from a, from a body shop and he looked at it and he said straight away, wow, I've got a third year apprentice. It, this would be awesome for him because he gets runs or he gets solvent boil or, or, or he might have some other problems. Um, he actually got on the VR and where the paint's too heavy, it goes red. Where the paint's exactly correct, it goes green. And so uh, he, he saw the benefits straight away. Um, so even for seasoned painters who are doing, uh, who have been painting for years, like myself, like a lot of people here, you can get on the VR and it'll show all your mistakes. So you can improve what you've been doing for years and years uh, and correct those mistakes uh, quite easily. So it was an eye opener for me too. Yeah, great, great response so far. And uh, we've also got our, uh, our uh, online training as well. So what we do now is when we get people to come into the training center, first, we send them the online training. They go through all the, all the re required uh, modules that we ask them to do. So they're not sitting in the classroom. So when they come to the training center, they're actually doing you know, real life work and, and all the theory's done and they've got a bit of an idea what they need to do. So we've got a mixture of online training, uh, virtual training, as well as real life training. Absolutely. Everybody that I talk to, the first thing they say is we can't get painters or we can't get panel beaters. That's, that's the first problem. Um, you know, the, the, the young, younger generation of today, they don't seem to want to get their hands dirty. When we get them into the VR world here, they can say, oh, wow, this is cool. I'm actually painting a car. And there's many other training possibilities for this. If we can get them interested, we can get them into the trade. Um, but the, the, the other thing that you've got to think about is, okay, um, I get a new person come in. Uh, can you paint? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, I can paint. And then they do their first job and it turns to rubbish. So um, definitely we see more difficult colours, uh, more difficult metallics. Um, all of that, all that sort of stuff needs to be, um, we need to train the people, otherwise they can't paint that. But um, we get them into the training centre and we actually get them to paint the whole side of the car. And then we get them to do a repair on that. So A is we do application and then B is we do rectification. Uh, and so they need to know how to uh, actually fix a problem if they have it. They need to know how to blend. They need to know how to do an invisible repair. That's what, that's what we're after. Oh, de definitely um, getting people into the industry is, I think people see uh, body repair as a bit of a dirty kind of an industry. Um, health and safety's improved. You know, the, the materials have improved. The, the training's improved. All the PPE has improved. So it's not, let's say, as dirty of a trade as it used to be. And if we can get the, the, you know, the young kids interested, that's one step. Second thing is get them trained up and have them safe so that they can last a few years in the industry. Because, you know, all of us that have been in the industry for a while, once we're gone, we need the next generation to step in so that they can pass it on. Otherwise the trade dies.